morning friends uh, we are going to start a very interesting sessions over uh, this particular nv but uh, what we are trying to under, uh, show you for, for the today's tutorial that is basically whenever we are going to uh, see some spectral value or the spectral range okay so using the spectral range uh, you can extract the information uh, and you can collect the signature files uh, to seeing the spectral range so i will show you uh, there is a very good tools in nv that is called a band animation tool which you can use for a multiple applications but one of this band animation tool example which i'm going to show you it's maybe very useful for you okay so you should see here uh, i have one landsat image which i that same bonisher city okay so i'm going to show you over that so this is mtl.txt file which is supported by the nv also and you can see uh, it will going to show you that full image over here okay so now uh, here also you have uh, options to convert it in uh, true color composite see load uh, so color composite so you can make it as a color composite okay so if i want to remove this one i can remove that also and uh, if you want to make a stretching over the image so there is a various stretch options will be there so i can stretch it to this okay so now uh, the beautiful things uh, you know what uh, like here uh, I suppose I want to see uh, the spectra of this water body. So, you can simply click on this spectra, okay, and uh, you can uh, simply bring in dates. So, you can able to see the spectral curve of this particular water body, okay. So, that is the one thing. But here, our main focus is what is the value is coming in the water and how we are going to catch it, okay. So, which band is actually sensitive with the water? As I told you in my last lecture, so every band is sensitive with what but here it is a very good tool uh, we, where you can see uh, what particular band is sensitive with what particular object okay so you can simply just right click on this and uh, simply switch on this band animation tool and see in the band animation tool you have these options okay so to see the changes of the each band so here you can control this like i can make it as a one second so that it will go little slow change and you can see this is the uh, Landsat 8, all the 8 bands, okay, but I, I just target, uh, suppose this water body want to target, I want to see the water pixels, how much it is falling on the that, okay, so what we will do, so first I will see, uh, okay, this is the Landsat, uh, this band 5, which will be the most effective and we can see uh, the water will be so much highlighted, so you just see, you can pause it over the band 5 and you just see here, there is a, some kind of, uh, means uh, as we all know, the infrared is totally absorbed in a water body so that's why it's coming very good there so we can use this property and we can target it so how we'll do that so simply you can right click on this okay and you have thus options which call as a new slicing color slicing so now from here as you already know that this one this band 5 from this band animation you just see the what is highlighted in band 5 so you can directly select that particular band only like uh, suppose near infrared band one two three four five bands so you can select it and simply click on ok and see here it will going to show you a range of the pixel value okay so over the water what will be the pixel value you can able to see it is very nicely it is visible like uh, the over the water the value is actually coming between suppose uh, 7113 and uh, 9596 so this we can make it as a target so see here uh, here you can uh, retry it also like if you plus it okay and here you can give a uh, maximum value is suppose 9596 uh, okay if i enter it so see all the water body we can catch very easily so these techniques we can apply whenever we will go for the classifications okay so, suppose for the supervised classifications you require a signature file so for this you can apply this technique to catch the property of the all the pixels within a second just see here now once you try it you just write down this uh, range sorry not this this range okay like 7113 to 99596 uh, will be the, the the range of the value which we fall under the water okay note it down in some place okay and then simply uh, we can make it cancel okay so don't worry you just uh, remove this one and this remove this also so now uh, i want to capture suppose uh, the water signature file okay so how we're going to capture it so here we have the tool like roi 
okay if i go in ry because whenever you are going for the classification c will going to use the ry you're going to create a ry only now so you can give a, a name of this ry file will be the water body so water body okay so you can give a name like this then here there is one tool is called as a thresholding so if you click on the threshold okay and if you simply click on this add new threshold options okay so from here you can catch the all the pixel in a single shot so see here if i select this near infrared range and simply click on okay and here see the same value it is asking okay so 7113 is automatically given so i just giving this value suppose 9596 and simply click on enter and click on okay and see just a second it will going to select all your pixels if you want to change the color so it will be much more beautifully you can highlight it okay so that is the process that is the process of uh, collecting a signature with a group you can you can apply this techniques see here uh, only thing is you have to need to save these files wherever you want to save test you can give a name okay now your files are saved so now you can go to the toolbox and you can give maximum likelihood classifier you can apply this tool means here i'm just selected only one uh, classes so you can select the multiple classes like this way and then simply go in a multiple this and then you can uh, apply this uh, this in map as a input there and then you can give signature file for the output and you can very easily classify the image so is this wonderful things i hope you all likes like how we will going to target our objects means uh, on the basis of the group of the pixel range okay and using this band animations and the slicings you can very nicely highlight those area uh, before you do any kind of targeting okay and then you come back to this ry tools and you just apply this and you can very easily catch uh, the signature of your target of interest okay thank you everyone i hope you, this small lecture it will be very useful for you thank you all thank you very much